Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and um, I am making some really cute, easy, um, I don't even know what to call these, um, embellishments um, that have a little charm on the bottom of each one, and I'm using um, the affirmations that are um, in my new kit and they're um, also a freebie on um, buy me a coffee so all that will be linked for you in the description so if you want to make one of these um stay tuned because we're going to make one today this one i made just using one of the um leaf uh, squares that's in the new kit as well and this is the fall gratitude kit um, that's available on Etsy so um, I really like these with the words I think they're going to be cute to add to a page in a junk journal stick in a gift for somebody you could even like tie it onto a package um, these are just so fun um, I guess you could even like why not? Like, could we just use it like as a bookmark? Like, here's a book of poetry. I don't know. I guess it depends on how flat that charm is. Um, but wouldn't that be cute as a bookmark? There you go. Um, I don't know. There, I think they are, this one might be a better shape for a bookmark. I think they are quite versatile. Um, I envision using them in some of my journals and um, to decorate and make it look fancy. So um, I have a couple of things ready so that we can just make one together and I can show you how to do that. Um, I, oh, and in the kit, there's also this page of quotes. So I think I want to do one that with one of the quotes too. So um, use whatever you have. You can um, use any pretty piece of paper. Um, if you have just a fussy cut of something that you like. I think that would be cute. You know, just really anything would work great. Um, you could punch a circle out and do a circle one. I, I like that idea. I did, a, the first couple I did, I um, did just a, the piece of paper right onto some craft card stock so that, that it has a nice thickness. So I did a couple like that and you can kind of see the piece of twine under there and it's okay, it doesn't bother me. But then I started layering them and added one more piece, one more layer. Um, and I just, I kind of like that a little bit better. So we're gonna make ours like that. So I just have a scrap again from that same kit, but use whatever paper you have. You can do scrapbook paper. And I'm gonna just, here, I think I'm gonna rip this edge off just a little bit. And I like the torn edge look, so I'm doing mine with torn edges. But um, I like having that little pop, even though it's kind of a really faded, muted kit. Um, I wanted it to be kind of peaceful <laughs> as we think about gratitude and that kind of journaling. Um, but anyway, I still like it. It's all those kind of um, neutral, earth tones that I tend to really like. So I'm just going to ink around the edges. And the same, I already inked the quote. This one says, when we focus on our gratitude, the tide of disappointment goes out and the tide of love rushes in. So I really like that. So I'm gonna just glue the quote to the patterned paper so we get that little extra bit of layer. Um, and I'm using, for this part, I'm using just wet white glue. So use um, I'm using the PVA Line Co brand glue. You can use art glitter, whatever glue you have on hand. But then when I get ready to attach the twine, we're also gonna use some two-sided tape. Now this is a pretty heavy duty craft stock um, it's a little hard to tear it can be done but I wanted something nice and sturdy as my base um, because I, I want these to be able to just stand alone um, without being mounted if, if you want to use them that way all right so then I just used a piece of twine and I can tell you the length or I will tell you the length find the end of my twine well goodness it was working earlier hmm I don't know where the end is let's see 
I kind of hate to do this because it was really um, working really well <laughs> earlier. Okay. Um, what I am doing is I want a little loop and the charm's going to hang down there. And then enough, I've got to have enough to tie a nice knot and leave a little bit extra hanging at the top. You can always trim it down. And so the, the length of this will also depend on the size that your, your card is, right? Um, this is definitely long enough. But of course, if you have a little tiny one, you might not need quite as much, right? Um, this piece ended up being 15 inches. And the base of this particular card, is this the right one? I've got too many things out on my desk, is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. So just to give you an idea of the size we're working on, but it really is just going to depend on whatever your image is. Now I have a variety of these um, just little charms. They're like for jewelry making or to make dangles and things out of. That's what I use them for. And I did, um, let's see, I've got the elephant and an angel. This one I really liked. It's a little owl with the leaf, the gold one. So there's just different colors. Why don't we do another one with a gold charm? Because I haven't done, I've only done one using one of the gold charms. And honestly, I guess it can be anything you want it to be. I kind of like that rose. What do you think of that one? Um, and there's all kinds of butterflies, and the keys are always fun. Maybe we'll use do the key. Um, I have some of these different sets of these little charms linked in my Amazon storefront. If you want to go take a look, um, all that is in the description of the video. Um, and again, I am an Amazon affiliate, which just means if you do end up making a purchase after checking out my link, um, I'll get a few pennies. So thank you. <laughs> and I'm supposed to tell you guys that. Okay, so I probably cut this twine a bit longer than I really needed to, but you wanna put your charm on just like that. And then I like them dangling off of the bottom. And that's how I designed these. Um, I guess you could put a charm at the top too, if you wanted to, or put a charm, the charm at the top. So, um, and I just kind of lay, lay the twine there, and then I'm just using some two-sided tape um, to really hold the twine to the card stock, just like this. And then we're gonna use a bunch of glue. So, I'm just gonna do three little pieces just like that. And I just eyeballed putting this at the center of my card there. All right, and now we're just going to pull this up and then we're gonna glue this piece to this piece. So, um, I think these are gonna be a fun addition um, to my journal that I'm working on. And if you guys haven't watched the video where I showed you um, where I started my gratitude journal using the new fall kit, um, go check that one out because then you'll kind of see, see what I'm talking about. All right. So just covering this really good with glue. I'm going to add a little extra glue right along there. And we're just going to sandwich it in. I just don't want it going anywhere. And I don't think it will. They seem pretty sturdy. Just gonna push that down really good and get that glue into that twine. Okay, look how cute. So now we have these two loose pieces up here. Now I've been using some of my fuzzy threads. Um, I got these two out. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one. You know, use yarn, thread, you could just do a bow up there, ribbon. Um, you really can um, do it however you like. You could do a mixture of threads. I kind of just did the same one for each one, but that would be kind of fun. And I am cutting these, and again, these are gonna get a haircut. That's what I call it when I trim them off, but I'm cutting them, I don't know, about nine inches. I like to have enough to work with 
Um, so I don't, if, if they get off a little bit, we're fine. And what I mean by that is if the ends aren't exactly measuring up or one scooches away on me, it'll be fine. Because then when I trim them all off to be approximately the same length at the top, it'll be okay. I don't know if that makes sense. All right, so then we're gonna do that and we're gonna need one more here in a minute. But I did one, two, three, or I think five strands. You can make it as chunky or not as you want. Now I'm just gonna lay these where I have the two ends of my twine on either side. And again, I'm kind of aiming for the halfway point, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're just gonna tie these onto the card with this piece of twine. So I'm just doing a double knot. And now, all of these little fibers, I'm gonna pull up to make that tassel. And this is where, and I'm just using the same one. I'm just cutting an extra string. And coming up, they're all a little different. I don't know, a half an inch, an inch, wherever it ends up. And again, I'm gonna tie and do like two or three little knots. And with these kind of, weird types of threads sometimes it gets hung up on the fiber so a smooth <laughs> a smooth thread would probably be easier but I was able to make it work ah okay two's two's enough all right and then just decide how long you want it like do you want to leave it super long do you want it shorter I'm going to trim it off about right here and I know that's a little bit wasteful, so if you want to do your shorter to start with, that's fine. But I do find, especially these funky threads, they kind of move around, and it's just easier for me if I go ahead. This one seems a little loose. That was when I went to tie it. It got caught on one of these little knobbies and did not tie very tight, so I'm going to do one more just to make sure that I don't lose my threads. They really won't go anywhere because they're tied on, but I like this look instead of just leaving them hanging completely loose. All right, now I know they're not going anywhere. And that's a little trick too, if you decide it's not fluffy enough and you could just tie one or two more on and get a little more fluff to your tassel. Okay. And I was kind of just twisting them around so you don't see the twine quite as much. Is that cute or what? I think this would just be such a nice little gift to give to somebody that needs some encouragement um, or to let them know you're thinking about them. So anyway, quick project today. I hope you like it. Uh, please leave me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys and have a great day.